Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ReactJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. We know that React applications are built with smaller reusable UI pieces called components. We by now also know that there are two ways to create components. One is a functional component, one is through class component. I have covered that in detail in the last two episodes. Make sure that you see them and master them. Today we are learning the difference between the functional and class components. This is part 14 of the series. Let's get started. Like I said, if you have missed out on the previous uh, episodes, please do go back and refer them. You will have continuity in your learning. All right, so today we are talking about difference between functional components and class component. We can define and create components either way, functional or class. There is no right or there is no wrong way. Like I demoed you in the last uh, episode, the output or the outcome will be similar or same, right? But, but the way we implement is different. Functional components are defined as regular JavaScript functions, whereas class components will be defined as a ES6 classes. So if you look at the code that we had written, this is the class that we wrote and we wrote extends component and using render this is the class example for functional we just write the default regular way of writing our javascript function and we will return in the class there is an extra step which is the render method which is what inside we will return right so that's the classic difference because functional components are written as javascript functions class component is defined as a es6 classes now, functional components introduced with React hooks, right? So we can use hooks to manage the states. There are different hooks like use state, use effect, etc. I will cover them as we progress, but for now, for your understanding, understand that the state is managed using the hooks. Whereas the state in a class component is managed with this dot state or this dot set state, etc. Class will have its own lifecycle methods like component mount, did mount component did update etc there are no lifecycle methods in functions functions are generally lightweight for better performance they are much easy to read and understand and they are much crisp which means it encourages reusability and modularity talking about the classes class component these are slightly heavier in terms of performance optimization obviously because there are a lot of instances of classes that we will build it will have its own methods and the code becomes little more etc this is a traditional approach for complex components now let's say you're building a payment kind of a solution right where your data is highly uh, tight should be tightly coupled that's where we will use class components but if it's more like a generic simpler ui i think functional component will serve the purpose Having said, there is no right or wrong way you can use it, but class components are much robust when you are trying to build more complex use case. They are more verbose and it can be hard to read. Um, if written, like if you have a code base which is written over years and a fresher needs to understand a class component, it may take a while for a, someone beginner to understand, but functional components are much simpler, straightforward, easy to understand. Those are the two main, uh, those are the difference, not difference, I would say the overview of both functional and class component. I wanted you to have a clear understanding of that because going forward, we'll be writing and creating lot many components using them. So having a clear picture of that will definitely help us. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. In the next episode, we will learn what are props in React, how to set them, what are default props and much, much more. I'm super excited. I'm sure you two are in learning. Please let me know if you have any feedback, you like this video, you have any suggestions to improve. I'll be happy to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.